This is Steve from Hacknet Online. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Kismac. Open the application up. There's not going to be any options to select in your menus except for preferences at this time. So you can choose your cards, drivers, everything you want to do at this point. Then click Start Scan. It may take a few seconds depending on how slow your computer is or how many programs you have open at the moment. Right now it's just going to hop between the 11 channels. Use 11 channels because um, nobody really uses 12, 13, and 14 unless you're in Europe or Japan. Now it's just hopping around the channels, gathering packets, and it's going to give you an idea of what networks are around you, which ones are strong, which ones are weak. You're going to want to crack WEP encryption. It is the easiest encryption type to hack. Right now we see two web networks. I can click on it, there we go. This one's much stronger than the other one. We're going to see how, it, how it's doing. That's not too bad, so that's a fairly good option of a network you might want to crack. Double click on that, go into this box, look where it says main channel. This network's main channel is 1, so we're going to go back here and click channel 1. This is only going to gather packets from channel 1 now. When you hop between the 11 channels, it's not going to gather packets as rapidly as it would if you were on one channel. So whenever you decide on a network, it's important to switch that one channel. It's been about five minutes and we have a decent amount of packets. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to crack this network. I'm going to be using a brute force crack method so go into crack, brute force, and what I usually start off with is an alphanumeral attack against 40-bit. That's going to cover the 64-bit WEP security. Um, all characters takes a while, so which is why I usually start off with alphanumerals. If alphanumerals doesn't work, then I would do the weak scheduling attack, which I will cover in another video. Under there, click the button, it's going to start cracking, it's going to stop the scan, and it can take a little while for this to go through depending on your processor, so just sit back and watch. And there you go, a few minutes later, it has cracked the key. So you can then shift command 3, a screenshot of that, which hopefully popped up. Yep, and then go back, OK, close out of the program, and save it if you want. Then over here, join other network, and you're going to go there, go here, type in the name of the network, the 681AB2FF5F33 WEP 40 to 128 bit hexadecimal. Click on that. 
the password will be the key that you just cracked. 38, 30, 38, 39, 38, don't include the colons and hit join. And there you go. We are now connected to a network. And there you go. You have your internet connection.